Hey guys, Tyler here. I was supposed to go see Django Unchained with Cage Candy today, but since I'm in the very early stages of getting snowed in, um, we had to postpone that. Uh, we're supposed to get like a foot of snow today, which really sucks. But hey, at least it wasn't on Christmas, right? So instead, I thought I would do a pickup video of what I've gotten so far. Um, these are going to be pickups, not only uh, gifts from Christmas, obviously, but uh, I've been kind of a deal hunter here lately. Um, and I've gotten really lucky on a few big pickups, so here we go. Uh, these will be in mostly chronological order in which I received them, as well as I can remember. So the first um, is the one that I bought. Uh, Cage Candy found this at Half Price Books for like half of what it goes for on Amazon because it's out of print. And then he sold it to me for what he paid for it. It is the DVD-Blu-ray combo of Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. I already had the DVD of this. I bought. Um, it was bought for me when it first came out, but this is kind of a big deal. Um, like I said, cause it's out of print. Plus, it's on Blu-ray, and I've seen all Fantasia and like half of Fantasia 2000. It looks and sounds fantastic on Blu-ray, so I'm really excited to have this um, and make this an official request. If anybody in DVD collection has or knows somebody who has the slipcover for Fantasia Fantasia 2000. That does not want it, let me know. I will pay for it. I want the slipcover of this to complete the collector's edition of, of this copy of this movie. So if you know anybody who has a slipcase, hit me up. I want it badly. Next, I got Batman Year One. Um, this is starting the Christmas gifts, by the way. Um, I had this one as part of a uh, Batman triple pack animated movie pack, I guess. Um, on DVD, but now I have it on Blu-ray, which is pretty awesome. Um, this isn't my favorite Batman animated movie, but it's pretty good. Um, Under the Wet Hood will always be the best Batman animated movie, in case anybody was wondering. It's amazing. Um, the next is Fight Club. I've actually never seen this. I've read the book. I have the book. I've never seen the film, so I was really excited to get this. Can't wait to pop that in and give it a little watch. Then we have one of my favorite films from my favorite director ever, Goodfellas. I'm working on trying to get all of Scorsese's films that have been on Blu-ray on Blu-ray. I'm uh, maybe halfway there. Uh, this is a big addition to my collection and, of course, an amazing movie. And then this, these next two I found on Craigslist. Um, some guy wanted $10 for each of them, so I went and picked them up. I offered him 15 for both, and he didn't take that, so I ended up paying 20 for both, which is still a really good deal. Um, I was worried that they might be stolen at first, but then I met the guy, and he had his kid with him, and he seemed like a really upstanding guy. And he just said, yeah, um, I had these until I upgraded to, to, D to 3D, so now I'm just trying to make back a little bit of my investment. So I obliged. Here is The Lion King, the Diamond Edition. Blu-ray DVD combo pack. This is, um, anybody who was born in the early 90s knows how big this movie was for us. It's quoted as being the number one animated movie of all time. I don't know if that's still true or not, because I think Toy Story 3 might have passed it. But still, pretty uh, amazing movie. And, um, it's in practically brand new condition. I mean, I checked the discs, there's not a scratch on them. I think it may have only been watched once. So for ten dollars, that's a pretty good deal, especially because it has a slipcover on it. And then I got Up, which I believe is a four-disc combo pack. Let me pop it open and check here. And again, like new condition, couldn't ask for a better deal. Ten dollars for both of those. I mean, ten dollars each for both of them. And as you can see, it is indeed a four-disc combo pack. So yeah, that was my steal of the week. Um, besides maybe Fantasia, just because it runs for like $70 on Amazon. We got it for $25. But this was a pretty awesome deal also. Then these next few are also Christmas presents um, from a different gathering. I have a big family and they spoil me. Uh, the first is Ben-Hur, the 50th anniversary Blu-ray. Never seen this one either. It's really long. Um, I know it's long because, as you can see... 
1959 Part 1, 1959 Part 2. The movie is so long they had to split it between two Blu-ray discs. It's like 222 minutes, which is like four hours and two minutes. Don't quote me on that math, but it's really extremely long. Um, the next is A Bug's Life, a Pixar movie that I did not have on Blu-ray or DVD. Um, I watched this last night, and it looks pretty spectacular, as you would expect from a Disney Blu-ray release. If there's one thing I can say about the Evil Empire is that they know how to remaster a movie. Two discs. They have a lot of inserts in these movies, which really drives me nuts. Sony and Disney seem to be the worst about that. Advertisements, advertisements, advertisements. Oh, and another cool thing about this one, I don't know if I'm going to do this or not, because I don't like 3D. Um, don't say anything, Charles. Um, is movie cash for Monsters, Inc. 3D up to $10 off, which would, um, at my local theater, would allow me to see it for free. So I might take advantage of that. If not, oh well. I got Cars 2, which I've heard is a subpar movie. I've not actually seen it yet, but I'm on a quest to collect all the Pixar's. Um, the only one I, the only ones I need now are The Incredibles and Brave. So, yeah, it's a good part of my collection. And who knows? Maybe I'll see it and be surprised. Although I'm not a big fan of Cars 1, so if Cars 2 is even worse. But, hey, it's in my collection now. I asked for it um, for a reason. And then I've got a Stanley Kubrick triple feature. It has 2001 A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange, and The Shining. I had all three of these movies on DVD. Now I have them on Blu-ray. And I've heard that the transfers for these movies are pretty amazing. So I'm really looking forward to checking these out. I've never actually seen 2001 all the way through. I haven't been able to make it through it yet. Um, I don't know why. I'm just not a big sci-fi guy, I guess. But, uh, I'm going to give it another shot. If nothing else, Clockwork Orange and The Shining, two of my favorite movies, and I'll have on Blu-ray. And we've got Ratatouille, another Dis uh, Pixar movie I didn't have, which is surprising because this is one of my favorite Pixar movies. And just like all the others, it's just a two-disc combo pack. Looking forward to seeing the transfers on these other two Pixar movies and on Up. I can't wait to see the transfer on Up. I bet it's amazing. So there's those. And then these two I picked up at my local family video. Um, I don't know if it's how big of a chain it is, but it's a rental store. Um, kind of like Blockbuster. Blockbuster still existed. Um, well, I mean, I know they still have a few stores, but not very many. I got, uh, I paid like just under 15 for both of these. They're used, of course, and they were rentals, but um, they're Blu-ray, so I can't imagine they're gonna be scratched or anything. First one I paid seven ninety-five for is the Avengers. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm more of a Dark Knight guy than I am an Avengers guy. But I'd never seen it, and it was really cheap, so I picked it up. Unfortunately, I only get the Blu-ray in these, but again, for so cheap, I can't really say anything. And it still has all the insert material. That's kind of interesting. I didn't realize it was going to have all that stuff in it. So there's that. And finally, for now, I have Batman Dark Knight Returns Part 1. I paid $5.95 for this. And it's kind of a... Uh, I forget exactly when it came out, but within the last couple months. So it's a pretty new release. Um, and I had not seen this one. This is one of the few Batman animated films that I have not seen. Um, and Dark Knight Returns Part 2 comes out next month, so there's that. And again, no DVD, just the Blu-ray. But for $5.95, I'll take it. I tried to call them in to sell me a copy of Brave for $9.95, but they wouldn't come off it because they already sold one earlier in the day. Of course, they have to keep it for rentals, so that was kind of a bummer. So yeah, there's my Christmas pickup so far. Um, next week I'm going to have, I got a $25 gift card from Best Buy, and I ordered a few movies that should be coming in, and then I also ordered Mean Streets off of Amazon that should be coming in. Oh, and I almost forgot, I ordered Bad Santa on Amazon, that's going to be coming in a few days too. So next week I'll have another pickup video with another good batch of movies. 
So until then, I hope you guys all had a good holiday, if you're into that. If not, I hope you had a great Tuesday. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.